Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1 to 4. Let me introduce to a term sine, cos and tan. You must have seen this term in your physics books or any other place. What is sine, cos and tan? In the first slide when we have introduced trigonometry, we have told that sine, cos and tan is used to find this. We have given an example that you were standing in a tower and one ship was coming from here. You know the height of this. You want to find the distance how far is the ship from you. This is the ship. And then I told that if you have this theta, then you can say tan theta is equal to d by h. You know h, you know tan theta, you can get d. So there we have used tan theta. So we have used tan theta, sin theta, cos theta. If not, we'll keep using this. It's a very crucial thing. So we have to learn this sin theta, cos theta and tan theta. Before that, let's give you a mantra. The mantra is Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol. So I'll write like this. Pandit P, this Pandit. Badri B, like this. Prashad P, like this. Pandit Badri Prashad on the numerator and Hari Hari Bol in the denominator. So we'll say, we'll write all this dash and say Hari Hari Bol. H, H, B. So what I have done? H, H, B. Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol. This is like this. Pandit Badri Prashad Hari Hari Bol. So this is the mantra. So here in this right triangle, we have this 90 degree angle. The side opposite to 90 degree angle is H. We call hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. And then we have two sides. We can take any angle theta. So if we take this angle theta, the side which is with the theta angle that is base. And the side which is opposite of theta angle is perpendicular. Divided so by P and this is divided by B and this is by H. So the right triangle, please note here. The side opposite to 90 degree angle is hypotenuse. With the hypotenuse, whatever angle you get, uh, let's suppose we assume this is theta. Then whatever side you get with the hypotenuse is base. And the opposite side of the angle you have considered theta is perpendicular. So here in this scenario, when you say P by H, P by H, this is nothing but sin theta. So this guy is nothing but Pandit Badri Prashad. This is sin theta. This is cos theta. This is tan theta. Just this is our tip to remember. Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol, just write this like this and you write sin cos tan. So you have to remember two things, sin cos tan and Pandit Badri Pashad Hari Hari Bol. Then you know that sin theta is equal to P by H, you draw a right triangle, you get a theta. As I told the convention, the side opposite to right triangle is hypotenuse. If you take this angle theta, this become perpendicular and the side which is part of this theta is become base. So when you say sin theta, that becomes P by H, P by H. When you say cos theta, it becomes B by H, that is this side by this. And we come tan theta, it becomes P by B. For example, this is 3, let's suppose this is 3 centimeter, this is 4 centimeter. So here we have this is 3 and this is 4. So we know that H square is equal to P square plus B square. Or we can say this is h square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. So h is equal to 5. So we have this relation. Let's example I'm taking. This is perpendicular is 3, base is 4, and hypotenuse is 5. So when I want to find sine theta, so here sine theta becomes p by h. Here is p by h. So p by h is nothing but 3 by Similarly, cos theta here becomes b by h, b is equal to 4, 4 by 5. 
and tan theta is equal to p by b p by b is 3 by 4 so this is the relation we'll get in this example where we find sin theta cos theta and tan theta we know that using this mantra pandit badri prashad hari hari bol sin theta is equal to p by h cos theta is equal to b by h tan theta is equal to p by b this is something which we have to learn and to learn this we have this mantra so once we learn this we can solve a lot of questions in trigonometry this is the basic basic building block of trigonometry that is sin theta is equal to p by h cos theta is equal to b by h and tan theta is equal to p by h. also we have sin opposite of sin is we have cosec opposite of cos we have sec and opposite of tan we have cot theta so the cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta so i'll write here and again cosec theta is nothing but 1 by sin theta so 1 by sin theta is equal to h by p so this becomes h by p we just reverse this h by p similarly sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta and that becomes h by b and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta that becomes b by p because p by b is tan theta so what we have learned till now sin theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta so the mantra is clear we use pandit badri prashad hari hari bol we write sin cos tan here also if you want we can write cosec theta sec theta and cot theta so this one is just whatever we see and this is reverse so if you say when you say cos theta you say h by p when you say sec theta you say h by p when you say cot theta you say b by p but for sin theta you say p by h similar cos theta b by h and tan theta b by h. i hope this will help you to remember these it may sound little difficult to start with but this is not that difficult you have to just remember this pandit badri prashad hari hari bol then you have to remember sin cos tan and cosec sec cot so if you can remember this pandit badri prashad hari hari bol sin cos tan cosec sec cot then you can remember all this let's see the type table for sin cos tan cosec sec and cot so this is theta so this is uh, in radian this is in degree both are same we we can take any one so let's take now this one so when you say sin 0 sin 0 is 0 sin 30 degree is equal to 1 by 2 sin 45 degree is equal to 1 by root 2 so i'm taking sin theta now first so when i say sin 0 that becomes 0 sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2 Sin forty five one by root two, sin sixty root three by two, and sin ninety one. This is the table for sin. We also have sin thirty five, sin forty, sin fifty five. But those are difficult to start with. The kind of questions we'll get if we know the sin zero thirty forty five sixty and ninety is more than enough for us. For other small small uh, or for other uh, values of sin sin, for example, sin forty five, sin sin fifty five, sin 57 so for those we can use a sign table but in most of the questions which we will get we can solve those questions if we know sign 0 sign 30 sign 45 sign 60 and sign 90 similarly for cos for cos cos 0 is 1 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 cos 90 is 0 and for tan tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 2 Tan forty five is one. Tan sixty is one root three, and tan ninety is undefined. Why? Because tan is nothing but sine by cos, so one by zero is undefined. Similarly, cosec sec and cot we have. 
cosec is opposite one by of sine. So you see one by zero is undefined. One by one by two becomes two. So one by one by two becomes two. One by one by root two becomes root two. One by root three by two becomes two by root three, and one by one becomes one. Similarly, we have sec and cot. Sec is one by of cos. So one by one is equal to one. One by root three two by two is equal to one by two by root three. One by one by root two is equal to root two. One by two is equal to two, and one by zero becomes undefined. Similarly, tan is one by cot, or yeah, cot is one by tan. So this is zero. One by zero is undefined. One by root three is become root three. One by one is equal to one. Root three, one by root three, and zero, one by undefined is equal to zero. So we know that if we know these three, we know these three also. In fact, we if we know only these two, we can get this also because tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta. Why? Again, I say Pandit Badri Pashan, Hari Hari Bol. This is sine, this is cos, and this is tan. So we know that sine theta is equal to p by h, and cos theta is equal to b by h. So we divide this sine theta by cos theta. Sine theta by cos theta. We get p by v because h is common, it will cancel, and p by v is nothing but tan theta. So if you know this and this, that is more than enough. Because if you see, zero by one is equal to zero. One by two divided by root three by two is equal to one by root three. One by root two divided by one by root two is equal to one. Root three by two divided by one by two is equal to root three. One by zero is one defined. So please learn these formulas. At least, if not all, this much, only this much, and then you can derive other formulas. Because if you have sine, if you have cos, you can derive tan. If you have sine, you can derive cosec. You can, if you have cos, you can derive cot. And if you have sine cos, you can derive cot tan, and then you can derive cot. Or you can directly derive, say, cos by sine, that becomes cot. So learn this: sine zero is zero, sine thirty one by two, sine forty five one by root two, sine sixty root three by two, sine ninety one. Also, one more thing: if you see, if you can just remember this series as more than enough, because this series and this series are just opposite. Example, if you see this, this is let's suppose zero, this is zero, this is one by two, this is one by two, this is one by root two, so this becomes one by root two. This I'll say root three by two, this is root three by two, this is one, this is one. This is just reverse way. So if you can just remember the series zero, one by two, one by root two. Root three by two and one. This series itself, with this, you can remember everything. And you know this is zero, thirty, forty-five, sixty, ninety. So if you remember this series, zero, thirty, forty-five, sixty, ninety, and for this sign is zero, one by two, one by root two, root three by two, one. You can remember everything because this is sign. Cos is just other way around. You can say like this. You can write like this: zero root three by two, one by root two, one by two, and zero. Now you have got sine, you have got cos. You got can get get tan. Tan is going to sine by cos. Zero. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and match.